One of the more recent ones I went on was in 2019 for Hurricane Dorian. We went down to the Bahamas. And there's this one local lady that we met in particular that I still think of every day. Um, we partnered with Sea Shepherd. So if you're familiar with the Bahamas, it's almost 725 islands is the geography. So it was very hard to distribute aid. Uh, boats were very limited. So we actually partnered with Sea Shepherd and used one of their ocean cutters the Jean-Paul de Joran to island hop and distribute aid. So this one day in particular, we were wrecking islands and trying to find out populations on the island, what they needed for supplies and humanitarian aid and such. So we landed on Sweeting's Cay, one of the islands, and uh, was met by a local. And she was one of probably 12 people that stayed on the island and survived the hurricane. So the atmospheric pressure drops and the ocean level rises. So a lot of the locals ended up either fleeing to the second level of their houses or rooftops, um, or they ended up clinging onto a tree. So we ended up bringing the aid onto the island. And at one point she was talking to one of our partners. And when I came back from helping a local carry aid to their house, this lovely lady, Miss Kay, threw her arms around me in the biggest embrace, very jovial woman. And we probably embraced for probably like five to seven minutes. Like it was a long, strong embrace and her emotions were flowing. She was laughing because she was, you know, so thankful that we arrived. She was crying because she just survived this crazy experience. Um, she was praying to God at the same time. She was praying to Jesus. And then in between those, she was still telling us the story of how she survived. So the hurricane circled over the islands for 16 hours and she clung onto a tree for 16 hours. So in, while this embrace is happening, she's crying, everyone that's watching us is crying, I'm starting to cry. Um, and that was the moment with Global Medic, as much as we bring aid, and that's just as important, bringing you know, water purification and hygiene kits and stuff, that was the moment when I realized that we're bringing more than just aid, we're actually bringing hope. And she kind of felt like the world had forgotten about them because they had been almost two weeks without aid being dropped off. Um, so when we showed up, it was like a saving grace.